This is Niall Kinnick Stadium on the campus of the University of Iowa. It is named after Niall Kinnick, who as a running and passing quarterback for Iowa, was the finest football player in the country in 1939. Niall Kinnick, All-American, Maxwell Trophy winner, and winner of the 1939 Heisman Trophy, defeating the great Tommy Harmon of Michigan, who would go on to win the trophy the following year. This is 22-year-old quarterback Chuck Long of Iowa. In this, his final season with the Hawkeyes, Long's amazing passing performances have established several Big Ten records and have placed him among the leading candidates for this year's Heisman Trophy. An honor that has eluded Iowa football players for almost a half century. Now, Kinnick's a big name around this part of the country because he's the only Iowa Heisman Trophy winner. And he won it a long time ago, but he's still, his name's mentioned a lot. You know, we have our stadium named after him. And it's kind of fun being associated with a Heisman Trophy winner. Long is one of the most accurate passers in the history of college football. Last year, he completed almost 70% of his passes and threw for 22 touchdowns. And though he had one year of eligibility left, it was thought that he might forego the 1985 season to accept a lucrative contract to play pro ball. He chose to play a final season with Iowa. You know, I really had three basic reasons. I wanted to, another chance to go to the Rose Bowl because it, you know, it's such a glamorous bowl. It's a, an attractive bowl to go to, and it's a lot of fun out there. I was out there when, we were, when I was a freshman in 81. Another reason was because I'm graduating this semester and I wanted to end football and graduate all at the same time and not worry to have to go back, come back to school from a year of professional football. You know, you only live once and, and I enjoy college football, I enjoy the college scene, it's a lot of fun and, and I want to make the most of it while I'm here. Long strength and accuracy make him difficult to defend against. These are perhaps the main reasons why he will be one of the players most sought after by professional football teams. His passing records are staggering. He holds the NCAA record for consecutive completed passes, 22 straight against Indiana last year, and finished the game with 26 out of 30 for a completion average of almost 90%. Last year against Texas, he threw for six touchdown passes and a total of 491 yards. At the season's end, Long finished seventh in the Heisman balloting. This year, he continued where he left off, breaking the Big Ten scoring record for most passing touchdowns in a season and most touchdowns for a collegiate career. In 1973, John Capaletti of Penn State was awarded the Heisman Trophy. In his acceptance speech, Capaletti paid tribute to his inspiration, his young brother who was afflicted with an incurable disease. If I could dedicate this trophy to him tonight, and give him a couple days of happiness. This is worth everything. For Chuck Long, there is a similar relationship. His younger brother, Andy. Andy's a very special person in my life, and he does put football in perspective in, in a good way because uh, Andy was born with cerebral palsy, and, and because of his handicap, his cause, uh, great motivation in my life and, and he's just an imp inspiration every time I go out on the football field each Saturday. You know, he kind of makes the, the losses seem just so trivial compared to what he's been through. Just kind of look at someone like Andy or, and just realize that he'd give anything to be in my shoes, he'd give anything to be normal and, and I'm just fortunate to have the ability, the guy given ability to play football. 22-year-old Chuck Long from Wheaton, Illinois. He led Iowa to a 10-1 record in the Big Ten Championship this year. Now, along with the rest of us, he awaits the announcement. Back after these messages.